What's up, Undertoads? This is Derek, and, uh, so I was, I was supposed to review this game. This is, a, this is a Pokemon game, but then it occurred to me that I don't, I don't actually know any Pokemon. So, does anyone around here know any Pokemon? Anyone at all? Wait, I do! I know some Pokemon! Charmeleon, Wartortle, Mewtwo, Tentacruel, Aerodactyl, Almond oh Knight, Slowpoke, Pidgeot, Arbok. That's all, folks! I don't even know what you just said. Were those Pokemon? That was a poke rap Okay, so Amanda's so that so Amanda's gonna do this because I mean the only Pokemon I know is uh it's Mouse Mouse Patatron. <laughs> Alright, Undertow viewers, I'm taking over. So Pokemon Yellow was released in 1999 after the releases of Blue and Red the previous year. Now in Yellow, some of the play is similar to that of Blue and Red, such as the direction you head in fighting the gym leaders and getting to the Pokemon League. But Yellow follows more true to the story of Pokemon that you see on your Saturday morning television. You basically start out, and I usually pick the name Ash, and my enemy's Gary. But you don't have to use those names if you don't want to. You're given a Pokemon by Professor Oak, right? Well, kind of, because in yellow, you meet Oak out in a bit of tall grass. Because your inexperienced little mind doesn't know that tall grass has Pokemon in it yet. Well, Oak catches a wild, cute, and fuzzy Pikachu that tries to attack you, and he does it with the grace of a hawk, because he basically takes a Pokeball and gets him in one shot. Now, when you go back to his lab to get your Pokemon, Gary ends up taking it, and this Pokemon was Eevee, whereas in red and blue would be the opposite type of what yours was. But yes, he takes Eevee, and you get stuck with Pikachu. Well, just like in the show, Pikachu doesn't like its Pokeball, so you let it follow by your side. You have an 8-bit little mouse Pokemon following you, step by step. The look of this game on Game Boy Color was fabulous. You had the little mini graphics that just made you able to recognize what Pokemon were which, even though they were little sprites. You can have hours and hours of fun going through the different areas of tall grass, forests, cities, and gyms just fighting or exploring. The only thing that ever bugged me going through these areas though was the ledges, because if you got too close and were trying to quickly get by a slim passage, you could easily end up hopping yourself down to the next one and having to go all the way back up. It was a big pain, especially if you were on your bike, because I know that happened a lot to me with how fast the bike went. Now the little tunes in this game were also an instant get stuck in your head ordeal. I think most of us who have played this game as kids could just close our eyes and if somebody walked into a Pokemart or paid a visit to Nurse Joy, you'd be able to say, yep, they're healing my Pokemon, and ding ding, you'd be right. And that's because the music in this game gives a great feel for the areas that you're in. Also when you're in a cave, it'll even play darker music and whatnot because that just really sets the vibe and I think that's what the designers were really going for. Now as far as building your team of Pokemon went in this game, you almost always had a problem facing Brock in the beginning. I mean, you're only given Pikachu and the other Pokemon that you find along your way in the beginning are just normal types that get crushed by rock Pokemon like Brock uses. Aside from that though, once you got along your way, the controls like this were like any other Pokemon game. Except this was before Gold and Silver. And if you recall, in Gold and Silver, they allowed us to become lazy and gave us tabs. But in Pokemon Yellow, to get to your items, you have to press start and you just scroll down through HMs, Poke Flutes, Pokeballs, and whatever, just to find a freaking potion. But I never minded it, I just wanted to be a Pokemon Master. Overall though, Yellow is fantastic. Sure, you can't scroll up and down Cinnabar Island and snag infinite rare candy, but you can still become a champion in the world of Pokemon.